Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Let's play some more Max Payne 2. So, what we got here is, here's Mr. Max Payne. Decided to go take a call for whatever, for some public disturbance, I guess is what it probably would have been. At this uh, giant warehouse area. And there were some gunshots that looked like going on up there. So we're going to go check it out and I didn't mean to dive. I've been playing, was playing some Doom and now I got myself all fucked up with that shift key for with no sprint. way to deal with the pass I kept my eyes on the road off the rear view mirror and the road killed behind me I chased lesser mysteries other people's crimes yes you did senor yes you did I hate the way he runs that's like one of the few things that drives me fucking crazy in this game is he runs weird <laughs> you're a little on edge aren't you buddy <laughs> Does that say Dick Justice? <laughs> I never noticed that. That's awesome. So, um, another reference there to the original Max Payne game. That pretty much was like what you just saw on that TV show was exactly what happened when Max Payne went into his own bedroom and saw his. God damn! I need to really stop pushing that fucking shift key. Um, that's what happened when uh, Max Payne went into his own house and saw that his wife was dead. NYPD! Whoa! Easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. Oh, yeah, because suspicious just now. That sounds legit. No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. Oh, of course. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. <laughs> Always gotta have that little... that little... Suspicious. Oh yeah, We're if you the want. Who have to clean up that mess, brains and guts and shit? Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> this guy's such a douche. DT, uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, fucking 69 and everything. Yeah, every shady business in the world, like in like all those murder mysteries, is always a squeaky cleaning company. Or something similar. Alright, well, it's time to go in. I love the way that he looks back at people. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Oh, yeah, so do I! Yeah! Ow, God, I got shot in the hand. I really am overusing that diving button. It's like a reflex a little bit. Yes, big, big thing. Always, always always use your uh, your time stop which in this case is right click for me Ragnarok was a sign or was a nightclub that we went to in the first game we'll actually be learning about that in a little bit I love the weapon inventory system in this game by the way just the fact that you can you know very seamlessly go to whatever you want whenever you feel like it Haha, <laughs> these guys are idiots. Well, then again, I mean, they didn't know I was there. I guess I, I can't really call them idiots over it, but, you know, just don't kill a guy right out in the open area. Oh, ouch. Come on, out the door. Yes, you are also dead. Oh, look at that. Sitting right in the other guy, right on the other guy's shoulder. It's like it's like a little kid sitting on Santa Claus. The room looks like we're not here sore, to hurt you. But they've been cleaned out. Yes, they have been cleaned out. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah, it's Santa Claus and his elf. <laughs> yeah, vodka, vodka, borka. I don't know. I guess that's how you say it. Yeah, that'll kind of explain something a little bit later too. The answering machine had a message on it. Really, Max? Did it really have a message on it? As it always does? You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beat. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here. You got me in your chest care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about. But keep an eye out for Anything possible. Just listen. And I'll be there. 
pretty bold promise to have. If you're ever in trouble, no matter where you are, if you whistle, I'm going to be right there. Which means that he is obviously going to be around her at all times. I guess. Because that's a uh, pretty hard promise to hold up there. But that's Vlad for you. That guy's a weirdo. Yeah, give me them painkillers, buddy. And let's just open this safe that doesn't need a combination whatsoever. I told you to sit down. Uh oh, I hear some I hear some funny business going on in here. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. Because I'm we wearing want, gloves. We, we can... NYPD, drop them! That guy's got terrible aim, my Finish god. Her. Oh god, no! Oh, yep, like all you. The bad things in my life. It started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. He's like, oh, good. Here we go now. All right. Ooh, a sawed-off shotgun. That's gonna be lovely to play with. So these guys could have seen me coming the whole time, and they totally didn't. Because they're a bunch of idiots. Hardy hard. And you guys are both just totally... Just just one time in my life, I really want to do that to somebody. I just want to dive through a door in slow motion and just completely blow their faces off. Oh, there's supposed to be people in here. Yeah, there they are. I guess I went too quick for them. I know this game too well. Oh, shit. Yep, had to blow all the painkillers. Had to take... God! I should really stop doing that. Okay. Man, I am hurting pretty bad. And because of that, these guys are going to be hurting for a squirting here. Hurting for a squirting? Yeah, I wrote that. Pfft. Yeah. Way to get way to backpedal there, buddy. You had no chance at all. Come on! Finally. Hey! Oh, Mona. You little trickster, you. Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! The last time I saw her, she was bleeding to, her, bleeding to death inside of, a, uh, inside of an elevator shaft. If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. Really, Max? It's very optimistic. But yes, you are definitely correct in the idea that if you think that you're pretty much invincible My to the world, that you're pretty much stupid. But the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. Oh, they were, were they? I got something to say about that. Ooh, Jesus, I saw that thing fly right by my head. That guy is... Why would you do that? That has bothered me forever. Exactly what about driving that through there would work? Cool reloading technique, yeehaw! Yeah, you guys aren't going anywhere. Because I am superhuman and I can stop time whenever the fuck I feel like it. That is the cool thing about Max Payne, is that he, he has no limits. And, oh boy. Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> Man, that guy really wanted to play Martyr. Oh, Jesus! Oh, yeah, that reminds me. If there's any one thing that I don't like about this game, is that there is no checkpoint system. You literally have to save everything manually, and that kind of pisses me off a little. But just in case we die there, which I don't think we will, because we won't, but, yeah, I mean, if you ever get in one of those situations where you're just like, you like walk into a room and all of a sudden you're just like, holy shit, I didn't mean to die. You're totally fucked. Hey, there's Dick Justice again. Get him, Max. Pull him right, right in the old bread basket. You alright? These guys were so excited about shooting, they're like, oh my god, let me go do it. Yeah, good old okay, Winterson. Damn it. Hey, we're working together on this. 
You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Andy Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. Of course three, it's the Mafia. The clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name. Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. <laughs> yes, give Payne the innocent. ones that make no sense. Homicide. Sebastian Gates. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator. Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravara knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. Oh boy. I didn't tell him I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winnison's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. <laughs> I love that picture. That guy. I... That fucking guy. You'll learn about who that guy is in a little bit, unless you know already. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, Vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Of course Vladimir would play to make that place into a restaurant called Vodka. Vlad! He's Russian. Mark, Not like I have anything against Russian people, because I don't. Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down the entrance hole. Could use some help. Could use it now. I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call back up. My case had a life of its own. I got a weird feeling that back door. Unless Vladimir's no by himself, or we got like some people around. In the shadows. Um, a musty smell yeah, he'd be pretty much paint. dead by now. Ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, Good God, there is some serious shit going on there. Boom, boom, yeah! Just like that, they were all dead. Because Max Payne has... A very good tolerance for uh, for bullets in the Someone friggin' was gut. Someone on the other line. There's some painkillers down in there. I'm gonna use both of those too, cause I need them. Lad, shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. <laughs> Are you Max? Are you coming? As you say. Whose diploma is that? I don't know who that is. Oh, it's Vlad's. Okay. I always wondered that. Max, this white Boom! Really God. I know that I said earlier that I would always want to dive through a door and just blow somebody's head off, but I also would never want to be the guy who ends up being on the receiving end of that. I just wouldn't. Now, we have currently run out of time for this episode. When we come back next time on Let's Play Max Payne 2, we're going to head up through that door because we got a little bit of some interesting stuff that's going to happen next time. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, let's unravel the story together so you guys have yourselves an excellent evening I am gonna go work out because I haven't done that since last Monday and I need to do that so yeah I'll talk to you guys later have a good one bye